always be the one you wanna call when it's cold outside I will always be the one that's right here standing by your side Open up your heart and let me in I promise not to break you Hello, hello there. How are you doing, guys? Welcome back to my channel. In case you are new here, my name is Linda, and on this channel, we do everything home. So, today, guys, I'm sharing with you my 30 minutes daily cleaning routine. I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. If you do, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. So, guys, I'm going to start off with my bedroom. You guys know the drill. I normally clean my living room and my kitchen at night so that in the morning i start with the bedrooms but in this case this day i had not cleaned my house the previous day so stay tuned to see how i normally take only 30 minutes to clean my whole house <laughs> guys let me know down in the comment section below which things do you normally cl or clean on a daily basis in your homes like for my case I have to be cleaning my sinks my toilets my bathrooms uh, the, doing the dishes cleaning the floors like this is vacuuming the floors I do these things on a daily basis uh, one reason is because I want my house to be organized and another reason guys it's because I have a toddler who is very touchy if you are not careful the house will get messy real quick so let me know down there uh, down in the comment section below which uh, things in your house you do clean on a daily basis this glass cleaner guys to clean all the mirrors in my house this includes the one in my living room the one in my bedroom and the one uh, at the sink guys this thing i cannot insist enough it smells so 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 nice and then it doesn't leave behind the white streaks so that's a plus for me so if you are looking for a glass cleaner there you go guys get your blue touch glass cleaner and guys it's not expensive it's around 200 kenyan shillings and then your mirrors will be as shiny as new. For the sinks, guys, I'm using a homemade cleaner. Basically, this is just a mix of water, some bleach, and some liquid soap. I also added in a few drops of uh, my favorite disinfectant to make sure that the sinks are clean and also disinfected. They said, don't fall. Get all the things you've been taught, you've been told. Don't blink. When it comes to vacuuming my floors and my rugs in my house, I normally do this guys on a daily basis. This is because one, I have like bright rugs that need you know attention on a daily basis. So I do this on a daily basis. But when it comes to mopping my floors, I don't do this on a daily basis. I, I do it on an on alternate days. Like if I do vacuum my floors today like two days in a row then the following day i'll have to mop my floors guys so this makes sure that my house stays clean and organized as well
the beneath the bed before you go to sleep. Keep on, I shine. You surely get burned if you reach. Before we continue with today's video guys, I would like you to go and check out my very good friend. Her name is Beatrice Wandia. She's also a YouTuber. She's also a mother. She does lifestyle vlogs on here on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed to her channel guys, go subscribe. Leave a comment down there. You know, I'm sure you guys will fall in love with her content. Let's check her out. Hi and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you random days in my life. There will be cooking, cleaning, organizing and lots of good stuff. Welcome if you're new and stay around till the end to see and enjoy yourself. So guys, I'll be leaving her channel link in the description box down below. Be sure to check her out and I would really appreciate it. So guys, over here I'm going to be soaking my toilets. Leave them soak for around 20 minutes and then come back and wash them. And guys, my toilets, I normally wash them on a daily basis. This is a no-brainer in my house. I normally wash my toilets on a daily basis. Wash the toilet bowl, wipe down um, the toilet surfaces, make sure that the toilets are clean you know and you know free of jams <laughs> This is how the living room is looking like this morning. Yesterday I was not around. I went somewhere and then I came back very late. So I was not able to clean yesterday at night. But we are going to fix this. It's not like really that it's just, you know, tidying up. So yeah, let's fix this. So guys, thank you so much to everyone who has ever supported this channel. Thank you to everyone who has ever shared my content. You know, you liking, commenting, sharing my content out has really helped this channel to grow. Finally, guys, we are at a thousand subscribers. And I couldn't, you know, even believe it. I'm so humbled, guys, by your support. Keep on supporting your girl, guys. May God bless you. And may you guys continue to prosper in your various lives. Thank you so much for the support, guys. I do appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. <laughs> I know brain. Marvin Divine. In my living room, guys, I always feel like I'm normally wiping down everything on a daily basis. This includes the TV area, the coffee table, you know, the mirror there because my son will be touching and leaving fingerprints here and there. So I have to, you know, keep up with those. My couch, guys, this one, I mean, maybe I do it on like three times in a day if I'm not wrong because my house will be clean from morning until late in the afternoon, like at around two or three when he gets back home. This is my toddler when he gets back home. He starts throwing things around, playing with his toys. The toys will be everywhere in my home. So the house gets messy. So you'll find that mostly in a day, I'm wiping down the couches maybe two to three times in a day. Uh, yeah, my life is lovely now, I'm focused on me. You said you were about to die, I guess the car is on E. But see, I ain't even tripping because I just chose to believe that somebody gonna come around and give me just what I need. I don't want to see you frowning, see you looking down and out. Coming to me crying, saying you miss having me around. Gave you chances and you blew it, you so easily influenced. All the times you told me beat it, now you gotta face the music I'm saying.
As I had mentioned earlier guys, normally I vacuum my hair floors and my rugs on a daily basis but when it comes to mopping I do it on alternate days, I don't do it on a daily basis. In this other bedroom guys, normally there's nothing much to do. I'll always just straighten the bed because during the day you'll find that Zen was jumping on these beds or he was playing here and there. So normally I just like straighten it up, vacuum the floors and I'll be done. Like there's nothing much to do in this other bedroom other than just to you know straighten up things here and there, tidy up and then vacuum the floors and I'm done. And guys in this bedroom I don't even vacuum the floors on a daily basis because it rarely gets dirty i think maybe this because at the moment no one is using this bedroom really so that's why maybe it doesn't get that dirty so often and guys in case you are wondering why the change of clothes this is because while i was washing the other toilet i splashed water on my dress so i had to change to this other one it's not that i'm doing this on different days it's the same day i just had to change because i poured water on myself when you wanna call when it's cold outside I will always be the one that's right here standing by your side Open up your heart and let me in I promise not to break you I promise I'll be all, all that you want So Guys, if you look at this thing, you might even think I've not even washed it. Maybe for the last one week, but guys, trust me, I'm always washing this thing on a daily basis and mostly I wash it maybe two to three times in a day. But guess what? My toddler will not let this thing be. He's always in this thing. You know, sometimes you'll even find he takes sand from my plants and go and pour it in my sink. And guys, like my son will be the end of me and my cleaning in this house guys but you know toddlers are just toddlers you know sometimes you let them get away with it sometimes no but this thing suffers the most in his hands <laughs>
the last place I normally clean in my house, this is my kitchen. Guys, dishes never end in this house. Right now I'm doing dishes for breakfast and then an hour later or two hours later you'll go to the kitchen, you'll find a plate, a cup, you know, something else in the sink to wash. I don't know why dishes never end really. Like, do dishes never end? Like, I feel like the only time I don't have dishes in my sink it's when it's at night and people have gone to sleep so no one is eating or drinking or doing anything so that's the only time i feel like the sink will stay empty but other times you will always find something in the sink to wash so normally whenever i use like a cup a plate i will normally just go to the sink wash it and leave the sink clean and dry something else that i normally do on a basis on a daily basis guys is wiping down the fridge wiping down the cooker especially the cooker because every time i cook I clean it because I want it to stay clean all the time. You know, the the kitchen countertops, those are the things that I clean on a daily basis. And guys, my kitchen floors, I normally mop them on a daily basis. Like, guys, like the kitchen floor is the most that is floor, I think, in my home because, you know, you are cooking, food particles will be here and there. So my kitchen sink, I normally like wipe maybe two to three times in a day. So that, you know, it, it stays clean and, you know, organized as well. so guys that's it for my 30 minutes daily cleaning routine in my home i hope that you did enjoy this video if you did kindly give it a thumbs up do not forget to leave a comment down there subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i would really appreciate it so until next time love and light bye bye I'm